I'm D. Ivan Briesen, and I'd like to introduce you to the EcoBox project. The uh, impetus of the idea here was to figure out what it takes somebody to live comfortably. And uh, that has a number of useful applications, everything from a vacation co cottage to what you do with refugees or families who've been displaced or who've lost their homes in a, in a disaster. So what you see here is the EcoBox. This is our pilot project. It's the first iteration of it. We're about halfway done. It's a 40-foot uh, standard high cube shipping container, and we want to turn it into an off-the-grid, livable workshop. Not livable in the sense that it has everything you need to live, to cook, to clean, to wash, to sleep, um, but it could be used for a number of different things, from a meeting room to an architect's office on a job site, to a place for emergency workers to, to relax if they've been you know, on the job for 24 hours in a, in a disaster zone. So we want this to be affordable. We want it to be... Um, self-contained so that we can pack everything up and ship it pretty easily. I'd like it to be able to be set up in two days by two people and taken down in two days by two people. And we want the whole thing to be ten to fifteen thousand dollars in materials, maybe another ten thousand in labor. We'd like to be able to sell them for between twenty five and thirty thousand dollars. And with that comes everything you need to capture the rainwater, to get all of the solar power from the sun, to be comfortable in hot and cold climates. Now, obviously we have to design them for the local climate. In this case, we're in Charlotte, North Carolina, but we would of course tailor to, you know, if it's dry Africa or it's very humid uh, Central America or just depending on, on what region. So we hope that ultimately this could be used for many, many purposes. One would be sort of alternative affordable housing. Another would be to help um, after disasters. If you look at what happened with Katrina, there was an opportunity to help a lot of people out by giving them comfortable living spaces. We we're hoping to avoid the problems that you may have heard about with FEMA trailers, things like having formaldehyde or sloppy construction. Or um, We don't want you to have to bring in a sewage pumping truck. We don't want you to have to plug into the grid and get an electrical permit. We want it to be basically um, a much more affordable sort of RV without wheels. You can set it up and put it down, and unlike an RV, you don't have a gray water tank and a black water tank to worry about. So that's kind of our overall goal here. We need your help. If you've got a background or some expertise or some ideas, or you just like to volunteer and you're in the Charlotte area, certainly if you have ideas and you're not in the Charlotte area, send them. The website is www.ecobox.me, as in uh, my, what, what is it? E stands for? <laughs> ME is a new, new domain http www.ecobox.me or if you just google ecobox and cpcc will be the, the first hit on google there's a form there we encourage you to send a note uh, send a phone number tell us you'd like to be on the interest list um, the twitter account is ecoboxer and uh, if you basically just google ecobox look for container housing you're going to find us and uh, we'd like your help we'd like your ideas and uh, just stay tuned with what's going on